back to stylish Niger YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for your love and for your support. If you are new to the channel, you are highly and very welcome. If you have not subscribed, it actually takes nothing for you to subscribe to my channel. Please, I would appreciate if you would do that. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then I would appreciate if you would hit on the like button. It actually takes nothing for you to like this video. Just like the video. That's just like a way of you giving back to me for watching this video. Just like the video. So thank you so much. I would appreciate if you would do that also. And then if you want to register for my online classes, you can just see my number scrolling through the screen. Send me a message on WhatsApp and I'll give you the details of the classes we have available. You can follow me on all of my social media platforms, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, all at Stylish Niger. Okay, so let's get started. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew a peplum skirt. So it is a simple skirt. So this is like a beginner skirt for somebody that is just learning how to sew this is a video and this is a, a a project idea yeah so i'm going to make use of one yard of fabric you can see it is a small fabric but it has a deep length and then this is the lining i'm going to be adding a lining to the skirt so this is the lining and then this is my fabric so the measurement that i'm going to be making use of for this tutorial the waist measurement is 28 inches so we we'll divide 28 into 4, we have 7 inches. The hip measurement is 37. You divide 37 into 4, we have 9.25. And then the full length of our skirt is 20 inches. So we we'll divide that into 2. It is not equal. So the top part is going to be 11. And then the peplum part is going to be 9 inches. So these are the measurements. So as we go along, I would explain this. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to fold my fabric. So I'll just draft directly on this fabric. So I'll do that. I'll fold it and then show you how to do the draft of the top part of the skirt. Okay, so I have cut out the fabric that I'm going to be making use of. So this is going to be my start line, which is the waist line. So from this point, I'm going to mark out my hip line. So because this is a small size, my hip is 8 inches. So normally the hip is between, for a normal size, is between 9 and 10. But this, if you notice, this is a small size. So I have my hip measurement on 10. So now we're going to start imputing our measurement. The first measurement is our waist measurement. Divide into 4. We have 28 divided into 4, which is 7 inches. So I'll mark my 7 inches like this. And then I'm going to add 1 inch for my dart. And then I'll add 2 inches for stitching allowance because I'm going to sew and turn. So I'll mark that. And then the next measurement I'm adding here is the hip measurement, which is 37 divided by 4, which is 9.25. So I'll just approximate that to 9.5. And then for this side also, I'll add just 2 inches for stitching allowance. So for the down part, what I'm going to do, I'll measure what I have here now. I'll take out 2 inches from this. So I have about 11 inches 11.5 inches there about so i'm going to come here now i'll mark 9.5 inches so i hope i'm correct with that measurement okay yes okay so the next thing now i'm going to use my pattern curve so it curves nicely i would connect this to my hip line like this and then from this hip line I'm just going to go ahead I'll do this so if you notice you can see that the hip is a little bit so don't mind about that just give it a, a slight a slight curve by yourself just give it a curve so the hip does not come out too sharp so I'm going to cut now So you can see I have my skirts already. So this part, this is okay. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to add my dart lines. Okay. So for the dart, I'm going to use one, I'm going to use half of my bust pan measurement, which is eight inches. So I'll just put a notch there. So I'm just going to do a basic dart like this. So I'll mark this like this. 
and then we are done with the top part of our skirt. So the next thing, I'll place this on my fabric and then I'll cut this out first. Okay, so I finished cutting the top part of my skirt. So the next thing we're going to cut out now is the the down part, which is the peplum part. So because I'm going to still gather it a little bit, so I'm going to cut it a little bit extra. So I have about 10 inches here that's unfold. So the next thing, I'm going to fold my remaining fabric. So I'm going to join the peplum together. So this is already folded into four. I'm going to fold it again. So I have about eight inches. I have about eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have about eight layers right here. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to measure out the length of my what I have here. So I have about 10 inches. So I'm just going to mark that 10 inches round. So no matter how big it is, I will accommodate it because I'm going to fold it in as I'm going to pleat. So I have my 10 inches here. So if I, I was not going to, to add, let me just cut it before I continue my explanation. Okay, so I've cut this out now. So for this down part, I have about eight layers here. And this is what I have here is just two layers. So normally if I was not going to, if I wanted it not to pleat it, what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to divide what I have here into four. So at the end of the day, I'm just going to use about two, about four inches to cut this out. So I finished cutting this out. So just cut this out so the next thing now i'm going to cut this top part open so for this top part what i have here now is 10 inches here so normally that 10 i will divide it into about eight inches that's i'll divide it into about eight so at the end of the day i'm going to have about two inches that i'm supposed to cut here and then when i open up i will join them together but because i want to add Pleats to mine. I'm not going to use these two inches to cut this. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut at random. You understand what I mean by random? Since I'm going to pleat it, so I'm not going to have any problem. So I'm going to come down. So here I have eight inches. Normally I was supposed to use nine inches for the down part, but my fabric is exhausted. So I'm just going to go with my eight inches like that. So I'm going to open this up and then I'm going to cut this open. I'll just pick any side that I have. I can see that some part is a little bit truncated. And then I'm going to cut it open from this side that is a little bit truncated. I'll cut this like this. I'll cut this open so you can see what I have. Now you can see how beautiful my, it is looking. you can see so i have a little bit of excess so when i join this together and i'm going to have so much so i'll join this so i'll just take it back to my machine now and then join this together here so i'll have excess to be able to fix and pleat around my skirt so the next thing is just for me to go and sew and turn this so let's leave that first we sew and turn. So for the purple, I'm not going to turn it. I'm just going to line. I'm not just going to search the down part. So for this, I'll take this back to my machine. It's a simple process. I will turn. I will stitch here and here. Turn. Do the same thing to the back. That's the side side. I will do the same thing to the back pieces. And then I'll bring it back and show you. Okay, so after cutting them, cutting it open, I'm going to have something like this. So you can see I have two pieces here. You can see this one is longer than this. So like I said, we're going to just add tiny, tiny pleats to this just to ruffle it up a little bit. But let's just leave this 
and then let's go and stitch this one so the first the first thing to do is i'm going to stitch them on the side side i'll do the same thing for the back and the front so after stitching on the side side i'll add my that my normal waist that like this i'll just stitch it down and then i'll join the back and the front together so i'll go and do that i'll bring it back and show you before we add the pattern to the down parts of the skirt okay so i finished stitching so you can see i've done I've turned them out. The next thing is just for me to join them. So I'll use my, just iron it and then I'll use my stitching allowance to stitch the side. So for the down parts of my, my flame, so you can see what I have. So I've cut out lining also. So you can make sure you cut the lining exactly the same. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go and turn it together the way i'm going to turn it i'm going to join them first because i'll join this i'll join it like this and then join the lining also and then i'll turn it from the down part I'll, I'll just turn it from the down so i'll do that iron it and then i'll bring it back and show you before i show you how to attach it to the down part of our skirt i finished stitching my skirt so you can see so this is the the back of the skirt so i opened up this part a little bit so what i'm going to do now take the peplum part of my skirt so i'm going to start fixing it from here so it's easier to fix it like this so when i'm done i'll just stitch everything together like this so i'm just going to start stitching as i stitch along i will just be pleating it small tiny tiny just be adding tiny tiny pleats to it until i'm done so once i'm done to this point and then i'll just hold it and stitch it together so i'll do that and then finish it up and bring it back and show you the final look of the skirt so it is a simple process okay guys so at the end of the day so you can see how our skirt looks like our peplum skirt so you see it came out really fine so because it is a small size i could not wear it on the mannequin the mannequin's hips are bigger so i just had to do with this so you can see how the inside is looking so thank you so so much if you find this video helpful you can make this as full as you want and then this down part you can also add a crinoline to it to give it a very good standing effect so if you find this video helpful please hit on the like button and if you have not subscribed already please subscribe thank you so much i will see you in my next video Bye bye